if you are dealing with an Aries, what does this Aries person want to tell you? You could be in separation with this Aries. You could be dating this Aries. You could be in a committed relationship with this Aries. Okay, what, are they, what is it that they want to tell you? Please give me some time. Okay, for some, you guys are in a separation with an Aries. You are intoxicating. So this Aries feels like you guys are intoxicating. Some of them need some time, okay? It's not a bad thing. It's just that they need some time right now to figure things out. I need time to heal myself first. Yeah, so some of them, they need time to heal. They need to figure this out. So they need some time. My life is upside down. So for some of them, they need, they feel as though if they rush a connection with you, or maybe they got into a relationship with you, but then they're a little distant, this Aries person, they want you to give them some time. They are attracted to you. Okay. So it it's, they do find you attractive. They want the relationship. It's just, they need to heal themselves first. Their life is upside down. So yeah, when a person is like that and they never healed, they feel like their life is upside down. So they can have, you know, their finances are right. Everything looks great on the outside, but on the inside, they never healed. Okay, so what is it that this Aries would like to tell you guys? So wedding rings. So some of your Aries want to marry you. They see you as a for, forever commitment, an everlasting uh, commitment. All right, so we have camera. So some of them are learning from the past and they want to make new memories with you. What is it that the Aries want to tell my collective? We have, yeah, they're trying to learn fit learn from the past they're trying to heal and prepare for union with you yeah we have healing heart out here so they're definitely trying to heal their broken heart okay so if they're not you know jumping into anything right now it's because they're wearing a mask all right they're not showing you their true feelings because you know they haven't healed fully and they don't want to be vulnerable and then get hurt so yeah, some of them, they feel as though that they sabotage and then they rebuild the connection with you over and over, but they want to work on it. So some of them need to heal the connection with you. They know they need to heal things from the past that happened, but they are viewing you guys as marriage material. Okay, so tell me more. What does this Aries want to... Yeah, they want to conversate. They plan on coming forward. But right now, they're not taking any action, okay, with the solitude card alone, non-action, quiet. They do plan on, you know, they want to move forward in the connection, and they plan on having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you guys, telling you how you feel, because this person could have came into your guys' life, and then they could have got quiet, because, you know, they sabotage it. They come in you guys give them show them all the love but because they are trying to heal from a broken heart uh, and freedom from talks they could have addictions in their life that holds them back and they want to give you guys a you know a marriage something that's everlasting and they can't do this with a broken heart or some type of addiction so if they're like a negative thinker, if they think negatively about past situations and they're bringing this into your relationship, they know that that's a negative uh, pattern. They're trying to learn from the past here, and but they keep sabotaging it and then they want to work on it over and over. But they do feel they have passion for you and, you know, honesty. They are, they do want to be honest. Uh, when this person comes in, they could give you some type of roses, okay? So we have flowers. Some of you guys could be getting dogs, puppy. Maybe you guys like dogs or puppies and they want to give you some type of dog or a puppy or a gift of some sort like flowers, roses, something. Right now, they're just focused on healing themselves. So if this Aries could tell 
them anything right now, what would it be? They could have jealousy issues. So this Aries could have jealousy issues. They could be watching. All right, we have self-love and then twin flame divine connection. So some of them are looking at you guys and viewing you guys as a twin flame divine connection, but they want to work on self-love right now. So they're trying this. They can't really do this with you because they have jealousy issues and they're watching, okay, from afar. So some of them could be watching you from afar and they could see you get a lot of attention and they don't like that. So that's a part of them. Yeah, some of them are viewing you as a life partner, forever potential, okay? So, but they need to work on healing jealousy issues. All right, tell me more. Yeah, they're definitely watching you. They're definitely watching you with the secret admirer card. And then we have overthinking, triggered, and in a mental prison because they don't know how to step out of their comfort zone when it comes to healing. They haven't learned that part yet to where a gel, you know, jealousy issues. So that's hard. It's hard to step out of that sometimes. So it's easier said than done. You can't just say, I'm not going to be jealous today. And then when spirit comes in and gives them a test or their ancestors come in and say, okay, you're not going to be this way anymore. Let's throw a person in to see if you're going to be jealous. And then they fail that test. And then next thing you know, they have to rebuild and try to make it work with you again. There's, they sabotage themselves. All right. Let's see if I can get any more cards. Here we go, I'll use this deck. Tell me more on what this Aries wants to tell my collective. So you have an Aries out here that needs to heal. They sabotage a connection because of jealousy issues. They could hide the way they feel sometimes. Yeah, we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So they definitely want to work on this partnership with you guys. They do want to give it a chance. It's just jealousy issues is holding them back. So if you are dealing with an Aries and you're in a separation with an Aries or this is your situation where you know this person uh, sabotages the relationship and then they're in and out and they come back, this is how they're feeling. Give me one more. Yeah, deception. They feel as though there's someone else in your relationship, so they get a little nervous. They start wearing a mask here with this not showing true feelings, okay? They may gaslight you, they may pretend, and then they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They do want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you guys. They want to tell you exactly how they feel, but they're nervous because they know they sabotage. Yeah, some of them feel like you guys have new love in your life. And you guys are busy working on your careers, okay? Or some some of you guys, this Aries is busy working on their career. And they are they're worried that as they're busy working on their career, you will have new love in your life. So they want to come in. So let's see. Let me see here. Let's get this card. Will the Aries reach out? So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn dealing with uh, an Aries person. Uh, this person sees you guys recovering from loss. Okay, so maybe you guys are focused on your careers right now. And this person is viewing you as recovering from a loss. It could have been a financial loss or a, a, a loss that they uh, did to you by pretending and sabotaging the situation. So tell me more. Yeah, so this is how they're feeling right now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So definitely Aries here. They feel as though this is a challenge and there's competition or there will be competition in your relationship. Now, you're definitely a Taurus Virgo Capricorn because we have that out here twice. You could be focused on your finances. You could be focused on <clears throat> developing more 
new skills. You guys could be develop or manifesting new job opportunities or bringing finances in your relation or not your relationship, but some of you guys want to focus, have your finances set, you know, have your finances stack up and you guys have a savings account and everything before you even uh, get into a connection with this Aries person again. But yeah, this Aries person, if you are a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, they're viewing you as working on your finances and they feel like there's competition. They need to heal this broken heart, but they're viewing you as marriage material. They just have things they need to work on from the past. And they pretend a lot when it comes to their feelings. They don't show you guys their true feelings. They tend to sabotage it and then want to rebuild afterwards. Some of you guys could have left this Aries person because they did this. And this is what they want from you. Please give me some time. Okay? Because they do view you as this. You are very intoxicating. Okay? So I need time to heal myself first. And my life is upside down right now. So because... They haven't healed. They do feel like their life is upside down. They want to give you this connection, but they just need to heal their broken heart. All right, that has been your reading. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you.